Last time on Mad Cat Sailing, we gave Alex Thompson a run for his money. saying it'll go a bit quite strong later and it's it's not not turned out that way at the minute. Um, and, uh, the tide's just about to change as well so it'll be going against me. Um, I've just stopped for now, I'm just going to have a breather. Uh, a bit fatigued today I think. So yeah, stop for a breather and uh, wait for the wind to pick up really. Absolutely gutted. happens, it's just one of them things. I could use my engine, don't get me wrong, I could use my engine, but um, I don't really want to be using my fuel if I can help it. Um, I've, I've got limited resources when it comes to fuel. And it's quite a long journey that I've got, so I'm just going to sit out, sit it out a minute and hopefully the weather will change a bit, but we'll see. Never mind. Mm. <laughs> Got to be a record that. the right choice pulling into Eastbourne Marina. Uh, the rain's just started booking it, it down. The thunder is unreal. Just lighting up the sky. Yeah, there's no way I could have stayed in that anchorage. I'd have been, uh, I'd have been fighting it. Good choice. cheek of it. There's only one bad cat around here. I think he's a bit of a cheater though, don't you? Um, I thought I'd show you all this. I've made the right decision staying at Eastbourne. Um, I've just sheltered up here. You can't really hear the immense wind. But I'm just going to show you something now and I'm really not envious of this guy coming in. I'll show you, try and show you some wave breaks and everything. It's going to get really windy in a second. So watch this.
to say, uh, not envious of that guy coming in. Um, they were a Danish guy this morning talking to his similar size boat to me and he's going to today until tomorrow. Um, just lucky enough that well, I landed here perfect timing um, as I come in. The thunder and the lightning, it was immense. Um, but I couldn't capture that on camera, so I, I'm sure you'd take my word for it um, looking at this sea snake. Um, but yeah, uh, even fishermen were saying it's about four metre high waves out there at the minute. Uh, Gale Force 9 is predicting, which it, it's up there on the scale. Uh, one of them things this was saying, um, it's not for the faint hearted. Um, it's you, even the most experienced of sailors uh, have probably been through this. And uh, me personally, sorry, sorry, ma, I know I should have took up knitting. Um, the only way you can actually learn in life is by doing it and um, to experience this. It's not something you really want to experience, but the only way you can learn to um, survive it is by doing it. But today is not the day. I'll give it a, a little bit longer. I'm taking, taking life skills in at the minute, so this is a lesson that I landed up just at the right time for shelter. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Yeah, not ready for that yet. Uh, keeping an eye on the weather and that. Um, yeah. So, keep following. I uh, hope oh, this was uh, informative and uh, a bit of an experience for you all. Keep up. See you soon. Yeah. Off into East Paul for something to eat, I think. Ta ta for now. Catch us next time as we finally leave Eastbourne and head around over. How far do we get guys? Hello everybody, uh, today's uh, blog is I'm carrying on, woohoo! Uh, yeah, lucky to get across there really, I would have had to wait that's all, it just means we're waiting. Before you go guys, don't forget hit the subscribe button, things can only get better.